Hello all, and I am the MGTOW Philosopher. So, in this video I'd like to talk about why there is poverty. I see a lot of videos out there talking about poverty, speaking in grand and complicated terms about what it is, where it comes from, why we have it, all this inequality bullshit talk, and what we can do to get rid of it. Well, let me tell you what we can do to get rid of it. And first, let's talk about why we have it. You want to know why we have it? Stupid people. Okay? We have poverty because we have stupid people. Stupid people, lazy people, people who are not all that interested in acting in their own self-interest, which, which is quite frankly a lot of people. Uh, but at the same time, who would actually work if they had no other choice. Which is, again, if <laughs> you give a lot of people the opportunity to not work uh, by offering them too many incentives not to, uh, many people will take you up on that offer. So, stupidity, though, is really the major problem. You can do all the work in the world to get people to be more equal. It won't change anything because you can't make stupid people equal with smart people. If they're stupid, they're stupid. They can't do the math, they can't do the math. You can work all day, you're not going to increase that gray matter one bit. Okay? Now, you can give these people education, you can help them to develop their cognitive skills to their maximum so that they can use those tools to their maximum, but honestly, you're always going to have people asking, do you want fries with that? Simply because you have different races, you have different genders, you have different people, you have different combinations of DNA, and some of those are going to result in dumb people. Some races, by and large, have naturally lower IQs on average, and women have lower IQs on average than men. So this talk about why we have poverty, to me, sounds absurd. But it's really uh, the fact that liberals want to create some kind of system where all the most intelligent and productive people take care of the dumbest people. And that's just never going to happen. It's, it's, just, it's just never going to happen. People have to be able to take care of themselves, and they have to be happy with what they have. So all this talk about welfare and trying to lift people out of poverty is stupid. Okay. Yes, if you look at the lowest, lowest level, if you were look at, look at the bottom 20%, even the majority of that bottom 20% live pretty well. Only the bare, 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 very, 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 very bottom, like the lowest producing, the most stupid people, the, the people who are the most self-destructive, the people who won't even go out there and sign up for the friggin' welfare that's out there. Even those people don't do so bad. Those would be your uh, homeless people. And a lot of people are homeless by choice. You might not realize. But even they don't uh, do too bad. I mean, homeless shelters, there's a lot of them. And I don't know if you've looked at homeless people lately, but I haven't seen very many f thin ones. They're usually very fat. Okay? <laughs> now, I guess it would depend on where you live, of course. But if you were in New York City, for say... New York City, the, 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 the benefits for homeless people there are crazy. A lot of people choose to live in homeless shelters and work full-time jobs because it's cheaper. So eradicating poverty will never happen because you will always have stupid people. You will always have lazy people, okay? And you're always, always, always going to have illegal aliens coming in and working on the cheap and sucking up government resources. So... I don't understand this, uh, 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 this, this stupid, stupid belief that we can eradicate poverty, that we should er eradicate poverty, because poverty's a good thing, okay? It's good. You know why? Because it incentivizes lazy assholes to get up off their asses and make their lives better. It provides consequences for bad actions, okay? You know what happens in a society when you remove the consequences for bad actions? You get a society of people that are constantly making bad decisions, which creates an even worse society. 
It's a ripple effect. It just gets worse and worse and worse, and that's what we have going on now. So I don't necessarily think that poverty is the horrible thing people think it is, not in America, not in the West. Now notice I'm adding that caveat because I do think poverty is bad when it's at the level it is in, say, oh, Africa, like 70, 80 percent of the people live in poverty or something like that. I mean, just atrocious levels of poverty where the majority of people live in squalor. I say squalor. I don't like this word poverty. It, it's too nonspecific and it's just very nebulous. It doesn't really address the living conditions, just the level of income which I don't agree with. Let's use the word fucking word squalor, okay? That's a word the left doesn't like because it's too specific and it names a situation that doesn't really exist in the West. And if we use the word squalor, then, it, okay, we need to eradicate squalor. And it, it, if you said that in America, everybody would say, oh, well, we already did that. Oh, okay, never mind. But they like to use the word poverty. They like to focus on income level. And that gives them an excuse to introduce more and more welfare and more and more government control, okay? Which is a bunch of horseshit. I mean, that's what they want to do. So stop using the word poverty. Let's use the word squalor. I mean, how many white or black or whatever babies have you seen running around with bloated stomachs in America, uh, a hair falling out, not getting enough nutrition, uh, 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 die from starvation. When was the last time this happened in America? Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> okay? It doesn't. So let's talk about eradicating squalor. Oh, it's already done. Okay, so we don't need to talk about bullshit like uh, uh, universal basic income, horseshit, or more welfare, or negative uh, taxes, or any other nonsense that would do the exact opposite of what it's supposed to do. You know, poverty was going down in America anyway until we introduced tons and tons of uh, 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 welfare programs. It's going down, 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 down. And then right when we introduced, uh, started introducing welfare, it stopped going down, stopped going down, and it actually started to increase again because you basically incentivize people to be lazy. You incentivize people who are the most susceptible to being lazy, the ones who were most susceptible to being incentivized to not work, to not work. And you've got those people in society. All societies have them. You've got a certain majority, a certain number of people in the population who, if given the choice, will choose to sit down on their ass, even if it's not as good a life as working. And those are your people that are in poverty right now. A great many of them just do better on welfare, don't have the skills to do better in the workforce, so they're too lazy to do so. And no matter what you do, but you could reduce poverty more by taking away all the welfare programs. <laughs> you could do that, and then you would have much less poverty than we have now. In fact, that's your best way of eradicating poverty, is getting people off their asses and getting them to get out and get a friggin' job. That's the way you reduce poverty. You don't reduce it by introducing more welfare. That just seems like common sense to me. And as far as eradicating poverty, you'll never do it. That's a leftist's wet dream, okay? And they know it. They just keep this eradicate poverty bullshit going because it gives them a never-ending excuse to introduce more and more government control, which is that they want, so they can eventually reach the point where they have their communist utopia, where everyone is equal, which will never fucking happen, because even then you'll have people that are more equal than others. Read Animal Farm, people. You can't do it. Equality is impossible. Eradicating poverty is impossible. You will not have it. It will not happen. <sighs> I am the MGTOW philosopher. I wish you a good day. Take care.